In 1820, Danish physicist and chemist Hans Christian Ørsted was setting up materials for a lecture. His materials included an early kind of battery called a voltaic pile, constructed of copper and zinc plates in a dilute acid solution and a wire held in place here by a set of clamps. Ørsted and other scientists of his day knew that when a wire was connected between the positive and negative terminals of a battery, electricity would flow through that wire. Electrons actually move from negative to positive. However, the convention is to think of electrical currents as moving from positive to negative. So that's how we'll show it here, using red particles. Back then, scientists still had much to learn about electricity. Preparing for his lecture, Ørsted made a very important discovery about the phenomenon, quite accidentally. Among Ørsted's scientific paraphernalia was a compass. Its needle, of course, pointed north in alignment with the Earth's magnetic field. Ørsted happened to place the compass near his battery and was startled to notice that the compass needle moved. As Ørsted deduced, this happened because the wire produced a magnetic field around it when it carried a current. If there is no current in the wire, the needle reverts to the alignment with the Earth's magnetic field. As it turns out, an electric current, made up of moving charged particles, produces a magnetic field that circles around the moving current, as shown by these blue lines. If you reverse the direction of the current, then the magnetic field around the wire moves in the opposite direction, and the needle on the compass flips to reflect the change in field. If you move the compass to a new spot near the wire, the needle will realign with the direction of the magnetic field in that particular location. Ørsted's accidental discovery was solid evidence that electricity and magnetism were related phenomena. The announcement of his findings incited a tremendous outbreak of research in the nascent field of electromagnetics in the early 1820s.